What's up everybody, Worm Diet Editing here. In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you how you can do the little static, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the little static lines that go behind people and in front of people in music videos. Um, I'm gonna be doing this in After Effects. I know you can do this in Premiere, but it takes a little bit more effort in Premiere, uh, cause Premiere kinda sucks. But, um, After Effects tutorial, uh, it's really simple. All it really takes is rotoscoping and a couple PNGs of static. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So before I get this video started, I just wanted to say um, I know I've been gone for like six months, but um, I'm going to be uploading a new editing video twice a week, uh, every week. So just keep an eye out for new editing videos. If you're just chilling at home, you want to learn some new stuff. Uh, the thing about my channel is I try to explain stuff the most simple way possible, just because I know a lot of these tutorials go in super insane depth and it can be very difficult for new uh, beginner people to you know, understand just small simple things that don't really need that much explaining to do. So um, yeah, I'm here to help everyone. So if you're wanting to learn how to edit, welcome, you've come to the right place. All right, so yeah, let's get this video started. All right, now that you're in After Effects, you just wanna drag in the footage that I just filmed. And if you're watching this, it could be any footage of any person or Honestly, anything that you want. It can be like a car, an animal, a person, an object. And um, I'm gonna fast forward to the part where I was gonna be. <laughs> this is um, this is just test footage, as I said before. But um, yeah. So just drag that to where you want it. Make sure you get it all cropped up and everything. I'm gonna zoom in a little, just a little bit. All right. So now that I have my footage here, just me sitting in a chair. You just want to duplicate your footage. You can do this by doing, um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Control D, you can duplicate it. And then you want to double click on the top layer. Go up here to this rotoscope tool. It's like a little guy with a paintbrush next to him. And you just want to rotoscope your object or whatever you have. For me, oops. For me, it's just me. So I'm just going to rotoscope this. I might just do, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to do it like this. And you can rotoscope faster by just clicking the space bar and letting the video play. But for me, I like to go up here to this preview tab and just kind of click through just to get everything nice and lined up. But for the sake of this video, if you do preview, it will make it a lot cleaner. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to press play and let this kind of play out just to kind of get that, just to get the basic idea across. But if you want something cleaner, just make sure to always do the preview and click this one so it just goes frame by frame so you have time to kind of like, you know, adjust things. But say if it's like you have to make a video and you only have like a tiny bit amount of time left, you might want to just uh, click play. And I try to keep it as clean as possible just because the cleaner the better, I promise you. I'm gonna time lapse this because nobody wants to wait. All right, I'm just gonna cut the video short a little bit just because this is just a test video, so it doesn't need to be super long, but your video can be as long as you want it to be. And now that you have your video here, yours is probably the whole thing. Mine's just cut short just for the sake of the video. But you wanna go over here and make sure you press freeze. If you don't press freeze, your rotoscope will just kinda be going all over the place, especially when you export it. When you click render, I've, um, before I knew about this freeze tab, um, your, the rotoscope line will kinda just go everywhere and mess up the entire footage. So just make sure you click freeze and it will freeze the video, or the it will freeze the rotoscope in the exact same shape that you drew it in, so it will, it will actually come out good. So once this finishes freezing, I will show you how to do the static effect. All right, now the video just finished freezing, so you just wanna go back over to your composition. So go from layer to composition. And now you just have these two videos. And if you click on this little eye, you can see that the back, this is the top video right here. It's just the one of me sitting here. I'm gonna do this so you can kinda of see what it looks like. Just the one of me sitting here. It's not the best rotoscope, just because I didn't try very hard on it, just for the sake of the video. <laughs> but um, yeah, as I said before, just make sure whenever you're doing it yourself, 
always click on this preview tab just because when you go frame by frame it gives you time to adjust the rotoscope it may take a lot of time but it gives like the best results rather than just doing the space bar but um yeah once you have this go ahead and turn this one the bottom layer back on go over to your project and import a couple pictures of just blank static it can be a gif of static or gif however you say it um, or it can just be a blank picture of just normal static no movement that's what I'm gonna do for this video but you can also do a gif or gif whatever you want to say um, because those ones have a little bit of movement so it can add more of the effect um, but yeah go ahead and just go on the internet grab some free stock photos of static and uh, come back all right so I just got a photo of static it's just this one right here it's just a blank picture of static what you want to do is you want to drag it in between these two layers so now the static is behind you once the static is behind you go over to effects and presets and click on wave warp type in wave warp and drag it onto the static it'll make it a little bit weird and it might be a little bit too big but this is the this is the easiest part right here grab this little square shape to where you can shape it however you want and just make it thin make it like this and once you make it thin, then, then you can go over to the um, wave warp effect and kind of just start tweaking with these things. It's honestly all up to you how tweaked you want it to look. Like you can make it look like this or this or whatever, but I kind of just like to do it like in between, kind of make the wave width longer. So kind of turn that up to like 111 or 110. And then the, the direction, I usually keep it at 90, but if you want it to look a little bit more wavy, you, you, kind of, you get the point, it kind of just, makes it different directions but for this one I'm just gonna kind of do probably like 97 96 and um, after you do that you just want to go into the actual static down here the little the effect the transformation I don't know why I just said transformation the transform <laughs> and rotate it about it can be any direction you want just the direction you want the static to be coming from but I'm gonna do like I usually like doing it top to down so like corner to down and then you want to get your static and drag it all the way out of your footage just like this i know this probably isn't the best way to explain how to do this but this is just how i do it because it's the easiest way and it gives the same results in my opinion so then once you do that you want to go over here and turn on every single one of these so once you drag it out here and you turned on all these you just want to drag your cursor to about like here this just uh determines how fast it will go past you or behind you so I'm just gonna put it like right here and then drag this literally just drag it down the screen like this Bam. and as you can see it goes past me but it might not look as good as you imagined and here is the key to everything in After Effects go over here and see these little three circles this is called motion blur if you turn this on it makes the it, it makes it just look so much better like, I don't know what I did before I knew about this. If you don't know about that, motion blur is the key to After Effects. You can also just turn it on by clicking this, but um, I usually just do it for individual videos because some of them I don't want to have motion blur on. But yeah, turn on motion blur and pretty much that's it. Now you have the little static lines. And then you can start getting more creative with it. You can kind of just like, say you want to duplicate this, kind of just start playing around with it. You can add as many as you want. You have one right there. Now I have two going down the screen. And then maybe if you want to, you can do this for a transition. Say you want to have a cool static effect transition. You can put this in front of the screen, maybe like this. Turn on motion blur. Put a wave warp on here. You get the idea of what I'm trying to what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, that could be a cool transition and then you just have to delete the footage underneath. But yeah, you get the point. That's pretty much how you do it. You just rotoscope, add the little GIFs in, not the GIFs, add the little statics in, and put them behind your character. You could probably even put one in front of, let me see what that would look like actually. I'm gonna do this one in front. So have one going behind, have one going in front. So it kind of gives it that depth. And another thing to, um, keep in mind is make sure your rotoscope itself make sure you have a nice feather maybe put this up at like eight and then always turn this on dominant or I don't know how to pronounce this word because I'm dumb but 
the edge colors. Always turn the edge colors on and turn the increase radius to like, maybe like five. What this does is kind of just blur out the edges of the of your actual character so you don't see as much of the background. You can kind of tell with the hair a little bit. It's kind of a little bit tweaky looking, but if the scene is like a moving scene and there's a lot of movement, this right here is a lifesaver. It makes the entire thing look a lot more clean. So that's pretty much it. That's how you do this effect. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as I said before, I'm going to be posting new videos every single week. Two videos every week. So stay tuned for that and um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace!